Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've brought a very delicious recipe for you guys. These are crispy spring roll. So I've made them with chicken and vegetables and these are known as chicken vegetable spring roll. So without any further delay, let's get towards our ingredients. I've taken one tablespoon oil into a frying pan and I'm gonna add some sliced capsicums according to your preference whatever you or whatever the quantity you like you can just add according to that. I've taken one capsicum and sliced it better and now I'm gonna fry it. With that I'm going to add about one third cup of carrots I've grated it and I'm gonna add it into it. With the help of a wooden spoon fry it well. With that I'm going to take some chicken. I have taken about one cup of chicken. I've boiled it and shredded it. Now I'm gonna add some cabbage. I've taken one cup cabbage. Uh, you can increase or decrease the quantity of your vegetables according to your preference. With that I'm gonna add two tablespoons of soya sauce and salt per your taste. I'm adding one teaspoon black pepper. Mix all the vegetables and spices well so that everything is mixed and cooked better. So it turns out to be soft and tender in texture. Once it's mixed well and it's tender in texture or stuffing is ready. You can clearly see how tasty this mixture looks. For glue paste, we're going to take one tablespoon uh, all-purpose flour into a simple bowl and going to add some water and mix it well. But you can add more quantity of water according to the mixture, according to the condensate of the mixture. Once it's done, you can see the condensate should look like this. So you can clearly see the condensate of the paste. Now I'm going to take stuffing and spring roll wrap. I'm going to put the stuffing into my spring roll wrap at one corner of the wrap. You can clearly see that the spring roll wrap is square in shape but small size wraps are in rectangular. So do bring the square shape wrap. So I've added the stuffing and now it's time to roll it. I mean you can just follow up the steps like I'm doing it. You can do the similar way. You don't have to change it. I mean, if you have a better way, you can do it as well, but following me would be much better. Remember to put the paste near you so that once your roll is done, it is easy to apply at the end. Like I am doing it the same way you're gonna do it and paste it on your wrap. This way your wrap is pasted and it would open. With that, I'm gonna follow the same procedure on my other rolls. I'm gonna make more rolls, whatever the mixture I have, once it's done, my rolls are done. So once my rolls are done, I'm gonna fry them. While I'm making these rolls, why don't you just go and hit the subscribe button. Once you're gonna hit the subscribe button, you'll see a bell icon on it. And if you're gonna hit that, you'll be updated by my latest and new videos at first go. And if you really like my videos, remember to like it and share it with your friends and family. I'm going to follow the same procedure on my other rolls and once all the rolls are done, these are ready to get fried. You can also freeze them and once the guests arrive, you can just fry them as well. That would be more preferable. I've taken one cup of oil and preheated it. Now I'm going to place my rolls into it. Remember to follow the precautions uh, while working in kitchen. Working with oil is quite dangerous because it's quite hot and it can burn a lot. So with the help of a spatula, I'm going to change each side so that each side turns out to be golden and crispy. If one side turns yeah. out to be golden and crispy, you can just turn it and wait for the other side to get crispy and golden as well. By the passage of time, you're going to see it's turning out to be golden and once it's done, it's ready to serve in front of cats and you can take them out of the oil. But with the help of a spatula, just stir it into it and you can see it's clearly done. With the help of a stainer, I'm going to take them out so that the excessive oil does not come with the rolls and rolls are less oily as well. I'm going to serve them in a decoratable plate. I decorated more with some lemons and some coriander and I've placed some sauce for them. If you really like my video, remember to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and do not forget to try this recipe at home. Try this chicken vegetable spring roll at home. And I'm sure you're going to love this crispy spring roll and once you're going to eat them, you will be in love with them. So till then, goodbye, have a nice day.